we're, we're excited that there are quite a number of uh, new developing uh, companies that are not only, again, um, directly here in southeast Minnesota, but also that are perhaps, for lack of a better term, um, obligated to go to Minneapolis-St. Paul to find space to be able to develop your new technology. Um, a couple of gentlemen from MinFarm talked about a new facility that just opened up uh, up in the cities that provides wet lab, dry lab, mechanical lab, office spaces uh, at which they're doing their work. We have that same need here. And there are a number of um, uh, locations that are available in Minneapolis, St. Paul, but nothing directly in the immediate Rochester area. A number of us have gotten together over the last year or so and talked about what are the needs where should that be? And the fortunate part is we have the ability to have a facility uh, literally uh, just down the street from us to be able to provide those kinds of spaces. And we don't necessarily have to default to going up to Minneapolis or St. Paul. The current uh, situation that uh, we have worked on is we've been doing some concept planning. Um, we have interviewed a number of uh, folks immediately uh, here in Rochester, some of whom are in the room. Thank you very much for your help. Um, we've uh, prepared a concept plan uh, for how the laboratory spaces would lay out. Uh, they are being designed for flexible uses so that as a company starts and continues to grow, you start with a single employee, you may add one or two after 24 months, and before you have the capital capability to go out and build your own new site, maybe you want to push out a wall and have an additional lab space of maybe 1,500 feet or 2,000, or perhaps, as the MinFarm gentleman had talked about, they have to have production space. That's a key for a lot of early stage companies to be able to have those facilities available. Um, we are um, planning to be able to continue on with the, the, uh, the planning of how this will look and the intent is to be able to have these laboratory spaces available before the end of 2017. You can put any picture on the wall. The uh, picture that you do see up in front of you has come by way of the architects that have helped us do the design through the assistance of interviews of the local folks here in Rochester and the assistance of the folks at University Enterprise Labs in Minneapolis who have said this model works we think it's very applicable for what you're trying to do in southeastern Minnesota. Let's figure out how we can work collaboratively, collaboratively to make this thing go forward. Final design is not yet determined, however. So the question that we have at the present time is, we need your help. If you are trying to identify current lab needs, if somebody in your network is trying to figure out what their lab needs may be, or perhaps what your upcoming growth might be, we would love to talk to you. Uh, there is a facility which uh, is available and we are working to develop right now. It is a 57,000 square foot former medical manufacturing facility just down the road. We have the capability to custom design laboratory and office spaces for anybody that is uh, so inclined. Uh, we do also have a couple of folks for contact if you have questions. Um, my name and phone number is listed here. Also at the back of the room, I've got a couple of brief sheets with the same exact slide. We'd certainly be very interested to chat more with you if you or someone else you know has a need for these kinds of spaces right here in southeast Minnesota. Thanks. Any questions? One. <laughs> Uh, to be determined, the current state that we're in at the present time is we're completing a feasibility study right now to be completed, we anticipate, before the end of March, which will uh, give us the pro forma for uh, the folks who are investing in putting this particular facility together. At the end of March, we're anticipating being able to say potential lease rates would be in this particular neighborhood. That way, when somebody is looking for particular spaces, you can find out how that fits in with your budgetary plans. Uh, the question is determining what the cost factors will be, and we have looked at a couple of things. We've looked at cost structures from Chicago to Minneapolis to actually one of our, our design partners is out of Boston. And one of the things that we're looking at is not only, A, from a competitive standpoint, what is it that uh, would be 
uh, similar to what we would have in the Minneapolis-St. Paul metro area, but quite frankly, what do we need directly here in the Rochester area? So, great. Thank you. I will be around and will likely be at Collider as well. If you have additional questions, be more than happy to chat with you at that time. Thanks. Thank you, Diane.